today um, I will be speaking with you regarding the topic of divorce on a couple's child. Today's thesis, the physical and long-term social emotions associated with the effects of divorce on the child or children based, so, based on the child's age, sex, and the relationship between his sex and the two parents. There is limited yet sufficient information regarding infants' ages. Well, regarding infants to ages three. As a result, to, pre to prevent false doctrine, I must focus primarily on the age group starting at preschool, preschool age group to adult to early adulthood. Preschoolers ages three to five tend to come to believe that divorce is a result of his or her inability to be that perfect child. Example, if I, if I would have cleaned my room better, made better grades, and didn't cut Mrs. Wilson's cat's hair, my parents would not be divorcing. School-age children tend to relate and understand that there is no, there is some it's emotional pain associated with divorce. But, talk, but doesn't quite understand how to control their impulses or reaction to their stresses. Many feel embarrassed among peers with two-parent homes and anger with parents, with their parents regarding their divorce. Example two, little Jody gets upset with little Johnny regarding little Johnny's taking his figurine from his bed. Little Jody bashes out and bites Little Johnny's hand. Even as adolescents to adulthood, our children experience many emotional setbacks, issues such as anger, fear, loneliness, depression, and guilt, according, according to the due change in the child's environment. Either one parent's not there or the other parent's there, or vice versa. My example for this would be Bill. I, he, he was a high honor student. Parents decided to divorce, which required Bill to start a new school while residing with one parent. Bill's grades dropped and he became antisocial with both parents and began only to sit in his room after each day of school. After the divorce, the long-term effects of divorce are on the child or children, both physically, mentally, and socially. Physically and mentally. Children tend to exhibit poor physical health than kids with intact homes, according to www.childadvocate.com. He or she exhibits problems with fear or betrayal, abandonment, loss and rejection, and a reduced psychological well-being for him, him or herself. Divorce can result in depression in young adulthood and, and low satisfactory for life. Be socially and mentally, children exhibit poor relationships with peers and begin early experiences with sexual relations by Herlin, according to C. Herlin book in, published in 1981 and return to the child's ability to develop and maintain good friend and dating relationships is reduced. According to unh.edu.gov, families, families with girls are more likely to either marry and have children early or give birth prior to marriage, which tends to result in a more likelihood for divorce in the near future, according to C. Herlin's book published in 1981. These are only a few and limited effects, which I felt compelled to share with, with all parents divorced or in the process of divorce and parents who are currently together regarding the divorce on children. In conclusion, I would like to ask, I would like to ask my audience and viewers to ask themselves, is divorce worth the negative effect it will have on our child or children? than the effects of staying married and making it work. A reduced, 
I feel that a resolution to reducing the number of divorces in the U.S. and around the U.S. and around the world is to hold parents more responsible in regard to the obtaining marriage licenses. And this plan, couples will be required to attend 16 hours of marriage counseling in a year, regardless of how well the marriage is going. There will be many positive results regarding this, this plan in regards to parents being more educated regarding the needs of children. So therefore, when a divorce does occur, it will be less stressful on the child. Thank you for listening to my message. My